So for us and 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 um, our fermentation, as I mentioned, I prefer SO5 uh, 1056 Chico. Um, not a very good flocking strain, but. Uh, we ferment them at 65, just nice, straightforward. You know, the joys of having a big brewery with, you know, glycol and everything, we just set it 65 and go. Really great temperature for us, it's very neutral, um, works hard, really don't have attenuation problems usually with those strains. For us, we've noticed that even when we pitch on these massive cakes, we tend to have a nice kind of little bit of a lag phase which is great, meaning that the yeast is realizing that we need to grow even more to do this, so we're not even over pitching, if you will, with this much yeast, but definitely having enough yeast in there to get going. So um, our, ye our fermentation um, will start usually between 12 and 24 hours um, on a yeast cake on a fresh pitch about 24 hours. And they're nice and gentle. We, we've, had, we've had some uh, yeast suppliers with some yeast where they are gung-ho three hours afterwards and those beers never finish. Um, so for us, it's nice, it's slow, it's steady. It's it, it the first couple times you do it, you're in, you're worried it's not going to finish on the big system. Um, at home, I always remember having vigorous ones and messes and blow offs and beer stuck to my ceiling and all those fun things. The fermentation we're looking for long and it's not necessarily low, but consistent and slow. Um, and attenuation tends to not be too much of a problem. If you want to learn more about uh, brewing and blending imperial stouts, both barrel aged and not, uh, just click on the link below.